All right, so the problem is the diesel engine won't shut off. Turn the key off, just keeps running. What causes that? The difference with a, a diesel to a, a gasoline engine uh, is the gasoline engine has spark plugs, has spark the fire. Um, so when you turn the key off on a gasoline engine, it typically just shuts the spark off, uh, which makes the engine die, shut off. Uh, with a diesel engine, it fires off compression, so you don't actually have um, the, the spark to shut off. So what it does instead to shut the engine off is when you turn the key off, it activates a, a fuel shutoff solenoid. Um, in this case, the fuel shutoff solenoid has gone bad, and therefore it won't shut the fuel off. So um, that's what I did was just use my hand to push the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid um, to shut the fuel off by hand and you know, as you saw it shut the engine off um, so what I'm doing now today is to replace it with a new one uh, so we'll see how that goes That's all I need. and just have a couple of bolts here it plugs in here and then it just actually slips off here so that's pretty much it grab a socket and a ratchet here and we'll pop her out. All right, so this particular model of the Kubota is uh, the BX2350. I don't think it would matter pretty much what model you're dealing with and whether it was Kubota or whatever. It doesn't, doesn't, a diesel engine is pretty much a diesel engine. So pretty, I, I, any diesel engine is gonna have a, a fuel shut off solenoid that, that I'm aware of. I don't, I don't know, but I, I would expect uh, yours would as well. But for my particular model, the BX2350, uh, the solenoid I ended up with was uh, model 16851. And this is just an aftermarket uh, solenoid. It's really in inexpensive. I actually ordered this one off eBay, I believe. Uh, but you can readily get it wherever. Um, or get with your local dealer and they'll hook you up as well. I'll show here. Let's what the little guy is there. So all this is doing is electrically activating this guy to shut the fuel off. Uh, yeah, just easily unplugs. That's it, dollars to it. This one was a Denzo brand. It's got this little drain port, I guess, if in case water gets inside or something, I suppose. I don't know what else it would be for. But this drain, the way it sat on there, is pointed down. And this one, let's see, I get it arranged the same way. Like this, you see, is actually pointed up more. So, let's see if I can turn that somehow. Here, it just pops off. Now it is glued right there, isn't it? Oh well, we're gonna twist it. I should just put a little adhesive on there probably, shouldn't I? It's kinda just pumped down in there the way the, the, way the uh, OEM one did. You can drain it that way, I suppose I've got something in it. Alright, so we swapped the uh, solenoid out here and didn't fix the problem. <laughs> so I didn't really do much testing before. I just assumed it's got to be the solenoid. That's the obvious thing. Um, and as cheap as it was, I just, you know, went ahead with it. Um, however, uh, that's apparently not it. So I'm going to start uh, electrically testing back. It could be the switch itself uh, may be making bad contact or. Um, something else we'll we'll see but i'm going to start here at this plug-in uh and start testing there and see if i get a signal change on that unplugger again so i've only had the one contact should be able to ground it 
right there. I don't know, I didn't get any signal though, at all. So we know it's not getting to here. We have to back up to the switch. Okay, so, start by getting into the switch. Yes, this tractor is filthy. It's October. I'm not really looking to wash it right now. Uh, now, just get some slack. There we go. A black and a white, a red, and a red and a white. There we go. Now it's four wires. Fifteen amp solenoid. Which solenoid is that? Is that my culprit? Timer relay. Timer relay. What's that one? That's it. So timer relay doesn't really say what the timer relay is. Because what else is there with a timer relay? It has to have a timer relay for the fuel shut off because once you turn the key off, you should activate that. Just momentarily, you know, for like five seconds, I think, to hold it shut and then release. It's blown. That little fuse is blown. So that is to our timer relay. So I would say maybe we didn't replace the fuel shutoff solenoid for no reason. Because if it blew a fuse, there's bound to be a reason. So we went ahead and we've got the new one in. I don't have another fuse. Let's see if we can borrow one for something else for troubleshooting reasons. Working light. Well, it's 20 amp. We don't really want to do that, do we? 10 amp. DC outlet. That's a little booger down there, so we don't think we need that. So let's borrow it from there. Plug this booger back in here. We'll try it. Have to. I'm just gonna try to adjust it to where it just hit, starts hitting here. Try that. See if it does it. I just have to adjust it a few times. These holes in this is slotted. I showed that earlier, so that you can slide. Let me loosen this up again. So you can slide this solenoid in and out. I think originally I had it kind of was for, too far forward, and it wasn't enough to. To shut it off here you know, I mean here it's just pulling this to shut the fuel off so I'm just gonna adjust it back to where that's just touching this so that when it shuts off when the cylinder is not activated in other words it'll let the fuel come all the way open Just going to look there. Put it back up. Now watch. Give it about five seconds and it'll release. Sound like a release, but it didn't come. There, didn't pop back out to get on his own, did it? Let's try that again. It's not relaxing enough. Which is going to keep it partially shut off if you want to restart it. Hmm.
there finally went on its own. So it ended up being that old 10 amp fuse there. But the fuse blew for a reason. So probably was a solenoid. But I think I'm gonna hang on to this guy just in case this little cheap Chinese aftermarket one goes and fells on me and by next week. <laughs> kidding I don't know who knows but I can always try this again if that one fails on me I'll just hang on to it but like I say it blew the fuse for some reason uh, however what I could have done to determine I think the first thing to do here would be to disconnect if it's not working and you see it's not working um, to disconnect it here <laughs> there's chickens disconnect it here at the uh, at the solenoid and and put a tester on it and you should have once you shut that you're only going to see power on that when you shut the key off yeah you, you know after you've started it shut the key off it should activate uh, a relay to give it power for like five seconds approximately um, and that and that just activates the solenoid to pull it back and when it does it's shutting the fuel off for like five seconds uh, enough to kill the engine and then it, and then it'll release so if you don't get that on there on your tester um, uh, it's just not getting power period even after you shut it off then you can back trace from there next thing I would do is check that fuse of course your your fuses are just to the right hand side of your steering wheel column um, easily accessible down by your battery um, and it was actually called it's a 10 amp fuse timer relay but yeah, the timer relay, that's what that is for uh, timing that five second fuel shut off. Uh, replace the fuse and this ended up inadvertently replaced the solenoid. But I, like I said, there's, there's probably a good chance that that was bad anyway because it did blow the fuse. So. But who knows, I'm not gonna swap it back out. It's already in there, it's working. As long as it's working fine, uh, I'll hang on to this guy just in case.